What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another build guide. Today, I'm going to show you how to build another Enterprise-inspired ship. This one's a B-class fighter with over 2,000 cargo. Stats are on the left side of the screen. Cost should be less than half a million. Let's get started. All right, first thing you're going to do is get any ship, take it over here to Seoul, and go to the Deimos Star Yard over by Mars. Modify a ship. Excellent. I'll be using this Varun Dirge I picked up over in the Serpentis system. All we need from here is the cockpit. So just delete whatever's in the way and go grab one of the Deimos bridges that they offer here. Then you can leave this ship builder and take that over to any Stroud Eklund dealer. It can be the Star Yard or the showroom over in Neon. I'll be going to the Star Yard in Narion though. Once you get to the Stroud Eklund dealer of your choice, you modify your ship. Came here for engines, so delete whatever ones you have. And grab six of these SA4330 engines. They've got multiple variants, so you can stack them on top of each other. And once you've got six, you can leave this ship builder and take that back to your outpost landing pad. Once you get back to your outpost, interact with the console. Pull your cockpit off and one of the engines so you can easily access it again later. Delete everything else. Grab an NG6 landing bay. 10 ST hauler shielded cargo. Get one of these Stroud Eklund Connect Pro Docker ports. Grab a 500C fuel tank. Hope 5 landing gear. Aurora 13G grab drive. Get a 1x1 one one half and a 2x1. Get the 104 DS reactor. I'll be using the Warden SG400 shield. In structural, we're going to need Nova Cowling. As well as equipment plates. For my weapons, I'm using my usual B-class fighter setup, consisting of auto helion beams, helion beams, and a firebolt suppressor. Once you've got everything, grab your 2x1 and place it on top of the bay. Then get another one to place on top of that, like this. Put your cockpit at the front. And grab another one and place on this side. Make sure one of them's a workshop. Grab your docker and place it here. One by one and place it in front of that. Then get a Nova Cowling, place it on the front. Change the variant to place on top of this 2x1 here. Get another one to place on top of the cockpit. Once it snaps to place, hit flip, flip again, and hit cancel. And grab another one to go under the cockpit. Place your reactor behind that. Then you can put your grab drive under the reactor and duplicate it several times until one lands inside the reactor. 
once that happens, then we eat the extras in the area. Select all on the main body of the ship. Edit and accept. Then you can do the same thing with your fuel tank. Make sure you keep one off to the side though, so you can easily put another one in there. Once you get your second fuel tank to land in there, you can delete all the extras and just select all, edit, accept. Then grab another Nova Cowling. Change the variant to get a Nova Cowling 2LBM placed under the reactor grab drive combo, then get another one, change it to the TM, place it inside, and change the variant back to the BM. Hit cancel, select all, edit, and accept. Then you can delete the one on the bottom. Get some more Nova Cowlings for the bottom over here. And you can get some more variants to go on the back of those. Place your engines inside. Once you get your engines placed, you want to duplicate and accept. And do the same thing on this one. Then you can select all, edit, and accept. Do it a second time to make sure both engines are connected. Then you want to get two more to go behind the landing bay. Now, in order to get this one inside of the bottom one, we're going to have to temporarily delete it. Then you can grab a spare fuel tank or just something that takes up connections on all sides. Place it on the top and bottom of the engine you're trying to merge. Then duplicate and accept. Make sure you change the variant to bring the engine port to the other side. And just even out the look, then edit and accept. Then you can remove these out of the way. Place another Nova Cowling here. Follow that with a second one by duplicating it. It should snap to the engine. Once it does, we're going to grab this hauler shielded cargo and place one under the engine. This is just to take up that connection point, then get a duplicate, place it inside the engine. If one snaps up here, that's fine. Just make sure that you flip, flip again, and hit cancel. Then grab another one, place it inside the engine. Once it's in there, flip twice, cancel, select all, edit, and accept. We're going to do that until our mobility goes down. So now we've got 99 mobility, but there's two extras, so we want to get two more in there. Once you do that, don't leave the ones on the top and bottom of the engine. Grab your landing gear. Place it under the engine, like this. Slide your landing bay back one. Then duplicate your landing gear. Make one land up there. Once that happens, we're just going to do it until one of our errors disappears. Right now we've got five.
now that it just dropped to four, we're going to add one more. And then delete the lower one. Now you want to lift these Nova cowlings that I've highlighted. Place an equipment plate on top of your docker and engine on this side, as well as the engine on the other side and the back of the 2x1. Then place another equipment plate behind your cockpit up here. Get the firebolt suppressor and place it up top. Once it's on the equipment plate, duplicate and accept. Then you can replace this Nova Cowling. Once it snaps to place, flip twice and cancel. Then we can do the same thing with our Helion Beam. Once it's on the plate, duplicate and accept. That way we can get four of them on two plates. Same thing with our auto helion beam. If it turns red like that whenever you duplicate it, just change your camera angle. You may have to do that more than once to get it to work. Place your shield behind the top 2x1. And you can start replacing your Nova Cowling. Now we need to assign our weapon. I would go auto helion first, helion as the second, firebolt as the final one. And we've still got one error, that's just too few landing gears. In order to fix that, highlight this landing gear, hit duplicate. And as you can see, it's landed on that Nova Cowling up there. We don't want that, so we're actually going to cancel that. Take this Nova Cowling here and flip it to pick up that connection. Then try that again. Okay, we've got one that landed low. That's okay. I'll highlight these one more time and hit duplicate and accept. We've got two errors. Unattached module and landing gear not touching. So if we delete this, now we've only got unattached modules. We can select all, edit, and accept. Make sure that everything is connected. Right now our engines are not because we need to add another Nova Cowling in between the landing bay and the engine. Make sure you get the 2LBM. Have it snap to place. Flip up again and hit cancel then we can select all edit and accept to get our engines in the back connected all right once you get your engines connected by placing a nova cowling down here and your landing gear are all in place you can remove this nova cowling here now just as one final touch i'm going to add some portholes and then we'll go check out the inside And feel free to color it however you like. Cost me 359000 here at the outpost. So that's not including the two other 
vendors that we went to see. As you can see, it has appeared slightly under the plane. If this happens, make sure that you view another ship and then switch back to it before leaving the shipbuilder menu. I'm gonna make this my home ship. And let's go check out the inside. All right, we'll be brought into whatever two by one you choose to place here at the bottom with a door and your docker at the back. This leads into my workshop. Here to suit the breeze. We've also got the storage room here on the left. If we go up the ladder, we've got another two by one with a couple portholes. One door leading to our cockpit. I heard you're fluent in over two dozen verbals and As always, make sure that your engines and shields are fully powered, then you can distribute the rest among your weapons. And I do believe that covers assembly on this one. If this video helped you out, please remember to hit those like and sub buttons down below, and I hope to see you all here in another one. Later.